and I would just freeze a bit like a rabbit in the headlights or flee running away like anything or just pass out unconscious on the floor. Hello, my name's Inwells and welcome to the In Crowd. And you might have a question. Here's a question for the comments down below. What should I put behind me? It's a green screen at the moment. Do you want something on it, a moving picture? What would you like? It's not lit very well, so, you know, be gentle. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. So welcome to the next episode in my series of personal blogs. I'm trying to redo lighting, etc. as you can see, and I've got my MacBook on my knee, on my lap, to try to keep me on track. But I'm going to try to do this unscripted, because hopefully it gives it a more natural uh, approach to talking to you. And yes, I'm remembering to look right down the lens. Okay then, so last last time I, well, I did a personal blog like this, we talked about things that might I might be talking about in the future, and one of those was um, anxiety. And today I would like to go back to a rather dark time of my life, a life when I was no longer in control, but my anxiety was. Now I'm going to split this up into a series of shorter videos rather than just spending eight hours just rambling on to you, which normally takes place late at night accompanied by a glass of wine. So let me start from the very beginning because due to the sound of music it's a very good place to start. Now I'm not too sure what age I was, but I think this started in sort of like my late 20s, early 30s, and I suddenly started to become or feel very sick. Now, I don't mean sick as in ill, well, probably that as well, but I was more sick as in feeling like I was going to vomit or puke. And this started to happen over and over and over and over again. And I tried to sort of like sort out what it was. I tried to self-diagnose what was happening. And this included not drinking coffee, um, not um, drinking hot drinks after meals, the, the list was endless and I was always trying to separate out what's going on here, why am I not, why am I not feeling right? Anyway, this feeling of sickness, I went to the doctors and they gave me some tablets to stop it, but it was just compounding itself. I started to feel sick if I was going out, if my routine was going to be changed, if I was meant to be going to visit somebody, then I felt so ill before I set off that I just couldn't go. I just ended up almost like becoming a recluse in my house. And if I did go anywhere, then I would just sort of like stand like a startled rabbit in headlights or try my best to flee and run away from the scene or even worse still, just pass out unconscious at the floor. Panic attacks become became a regular incident in my life. And I was finding that I was avoiding situations, I was staying inside, I was not even going outside to shop or go for a walk or anything like that. And I really became almost like a recluse. I couldn't go anywhere by myself. Um, I had to go with people. So if I went to the dentist, even though I was late 20s, early 30s, my mom, bless her, had to come with me. She had to come to the doctors. And I was just going downhill very, very rapidly. I was getting to the point that I was constantly in a state of stress and <clears throat> feeling ill. And eventually, in pure desperation, I went back to the doctors once more and said, look, I literally can't live like this. I was very anxious all the time. I was very depressed. And he gave me a whole load of tablets. I think I even cried in his office or in his um, surgery. And he gave me a whole load of tablets. And to this day, I still do not remember what they were. I just took them and started to feel a little bit better. Um, I'd had loads of medical tests done, blood tests, I had an, an endoscope down my throat, I had a tube up my nose, the list was endless and I was, I'd got to the point that 
I, I think I was definitely, looking back on it, I was definitely depressed, I was over anxious and it just seemed as if, you know, the only safe place for me to be was in my flat and that was it. I didn't want to go out, I lost friends, I lost touch with community and social society and everything. And I was really in a bad state and even thinking about it now is quite upsetting but I remember going back to the doctor and the doctor gave me one last hope. And he said, I've got one last thing to try. And I remember this to this day. He said, I've got one last thing to try. I would like you to go and see a clinical psychologist. And I said, literally anything, I would do anything to help. And he booked me in. And that was actually a major turning point. So if you'd like to see what happens next, then do come back and look at the next episode. I want to keep these nice and short so, you know, we keep focused. Anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, then please remember to like, comment or subscribe. By doing so, you're not only supporting uh, the channel, but also my dream. When we come back next time, my me and anxiety will continue and I'll start talking about my road to recovery. Until then, just remember to be who you are and say what you think, because the people who mind don't matter, and the people who matter don't mind. Have fun, guys, and I will catch you all later. And until then, happy viewing. See ya. Bye. Okay. Oh, oh do you know I'm getting old?